Hello McBride students and welcome back to another fun PE lesson. Today we are at the amazing World Razor Championships. We are going to see how well we can shave, just kidding guys, Razor Championships as in scooters. That's right guys. So <clears throat> I'm almost up in my first run of the Razor Championships and I am going to try to go for gold. Here we go. Three, two, one, bam! Three lap race. Here we go. Lap number two. Things are looking good. Here we go. And to the finish. Yeah! Well, guys, I did it. Gold medal at the World Razor Championships. It feels great to be a champion. I just want to thank my fans out there, the McBride Mustangs. Thank you for following me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Have a great day. Hello, 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 your joke of the day. What does a scooter instructor call his students? His scootants. <laughs> oh, that's pretty weak. Okay guys, warm up time. Time to put the gold medal away. This too could be yours if you competed in the World Razor Championships. Okay, here we go. Uh, hey, first thing, let's do our, uh, practice our scooter legs. Here we go, right leg first, one, three, four, six, seven, Let's do it left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's put left leg in front, right leg in back. Okay. And let's go switching them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay. Let's go side to side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's go. We'll go squats. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Jumping jacks. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go air punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do air kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And right leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. Okay, guys, starting a new unit today. We are starting our baseball and softball unit, okay? Um, it's that time of year where uh, usually in the springtime uh, is when this stuff starts coming around, the t-ball, baseball, softball. Um, and t-ball, baseball, softball obviously are the, um, they're all the same idea, all the same rules for the most part, and uh, they're just a uh, little bit different variations of how you play the game, okay? Um, so <clears throat> today we are gonna start with some batting, okay? So um, your bat is gonna be, um, 
may not be a normal bat today, okay? Um, it could be uh, one of many different objects. A pool noodle, okay? Perfect, all right. Um, a paddle, you could grab this with two hands and swing, okay? That'd be great, okay? Um, a yardstick, okay? Okay, something longer, longer and skinny. Uh, umbrella, why not, okay? Uh, and of course I have a uh, plastic bat here. Oh, my um umbrella just popped open. Um, and so you are going to want to grab an item that works for you as a bat, okay? Uh, you don't want it to be too long, okay? Uh, if you had a short broomstick, something like that would be fine, but a really long one, you know, wouldn't be great, okay? And uh, then you're gonna want some space around you to be able to safely swing um, and not hit anything or anyone, okay? So um, go ahead and grab your uh, bat option. If you don't have an option, okay, um, you can use your arm as a bat, and I'll show you how to do that, okay? Um, and then the next thing you're gonna need is just something to be your home plate, okay? Uh, just to help us with uh, where we stand, okay? So I have just a, uh, a, a small towel here, okay? And it's folded up, and that is gonna be my home plate, okay? Now, <clears throat> batting stance. Okay, obviously many of you know this, you've all uh, probably had a little bit of practice somewhere along the way, okay? And before we get to stance, let's talk grip, okay? So I'm a right-handed batter, my left hand is going to be at the bottom of the bat, my right hand is going to be on top of the bat, okay? I'm going to hold it back here. If you are a left-hander, your right hand will be on the bottom of the bat, your left hand will be on top, okay? And you would be here, okay? So, that is your grip. And when you step up to the plate, righties, you're going to be on, if you're looking at the plate, you're going to be on the left side. Lefties, you are going to be on the right side, okay? And you are going to be a few feet away from the, uh, from the home plate, okay? Your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, okay? And they're going to be straight. You see how they're, they're aimed straight towards uh, where the pitcher would be, where the ball would come from, okay? And a good uh, measurement is to kind of reach out, and if you can touch, just with a little bend, if you can touch the uh, opposite side of the plate with your bat, okay, you're probably at a good distance, okay? So now I'm going to get my grip, pull it to my back shoulder, okay? And I'm going to bend my knees, and now I'm ready to bat, guys. This is a really good batting stance for all uh, of these sports, t-ball, baseball, softball, okay? right here, and then your eyes are on the pitcher, okay, or whatever is delivering you the ball, okay, or if you're on a tee, your eyes would be right on the ball uh, where that tee is at right here, okay. So I'm in a good batting position here, okay, give you an angle like this, this is a good batting position, okay, if you're a lefty, okay, same thing, you're here, and your hands switch, and you're right here, okay. So that is our batting stance. I hope you're doing it with me right now. Go ahead and do that, okay? And now let's talk swing, okay? We are going to step with our front leg, just a small step, and we're going to swing the bat nice and level across. Just keep two hands on the bat and come through here, okay? And step. The back foot never leaves the ground, okay? Good. Swing with me. If you don't have a bat, you're going here, okay, and you are uh, just doing the swinging motion, okay? If you don't have a bat, that is totally fine, okay? And swing. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do a few of them. Three, two, excuse me. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. All right, guys. Excellent job with the grip, with the stance, and with the swing. We'll get on to our next mission of the day. Okay, guys, for this drill, we are going to try to uh, create a T at home, okay? Uh, a great option is an empty cardboard box, okay? 
So if you have an empty cardboard box, I know many of us do, um, you could go and grab that right now and that would be great, okay? Or if you have a softer chair that can handle being just hit just uh, lightly with um, whatever you're using for a bat, okay, something like that, uh, but make sure you get that okay. Obviously, an empty cardboard box, uh, we are not going to harm that, which is uh, fine. Your ball for this drill can be a empty water bottle, okay, or many of them, or it can be uh, rolled up pairs of socks, and or, or it can be crumpled up uh, pieces of paper, okay, into a ball, okay. Um, or if you do have a softer ball around that you can use, that is absolutely fine as well, okay. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, work on actually making contact here with our hitting, okay. So this is my tee, okay, this is my ball, and if you don't, if you aren't using a bat, if you were just uh, swinging on air, okay, you could, um, you can be here swinging on air and you can swing and you can hit with your hand, okay. So um, that would look like this, okay, and go through because we're still working on um, our, um, keeping our eye on the ball, okay, or in this case the bottle, and making contact. So uh, using your hand would be fine, okay? Uh, but I'm sure many of us have found some type of object to swing, and if that's you, okay, you would do this, okay? You're here with that batting stance, you're stepping with that front leg, and you're swinging through, okay, and making contact with that uh, object that you're hitting, okay? If you have several of them, you can just keep putting up the next one, which is great, okay? So make sure you have a little bit of space. You don't need to swing super hard. It's just about making contact. Make sure wherever your object is gonna go uh, that it does not um, damage or, uh, or hurt anything or anybody, okay? So it looks like this, guys. I'm here, eyes on the ball, stepping, swinging, and hitting. Here we go. I should have more objects available so I wouldn't have to chase it, but since I just have the one, I'm going to get the exercise and chase it. Okay, just like that. These water bottles go pretty far actually, so I'm not swinging super hard. Okay, I'm swinging pretty light, so I don't um, go chasing too far. Okay, so you're doing this with me, whatever objects you're using, just keep going. Watch me, listen to me as you do it. It's all about making contact, guys. T-ball, baseball, softball, whenever you're up to bat, you want to make contact with the ball. Good. Hustle and get your object. Obviously, you're getting in a lot more swings if you have multiple objects to put, which is good. More reps is more practice. Back to balance. There we go. A couple more. Harder swing there. Last one. Here we go. All right. Okay. Good job with that drill, guys. We are moving on to our next one. All right, guys. This drill is a little bit more difficult. Okay. Um, so grab your objects, whatever you're using. Okay. This one, it would be great if they were nice and soft. Water bottle paper, socks, okay, and make a couple paper balls, make a three here, there they are, okay, and I'm here at my plate, got a water bottle, okay, uh, again, if you're not using a bath, okay, if you're just uh, using yourself, okay, you're going to get in that batting stance, okay, Okay, but you can put the uh, right-handed hitter, put the, the ball in your left hand, okay? You're gonna toss it up, 
Bend your knees, toss it up, and you can hit through with your hand, okay? Just like so. Ooh. All right. Eyes on that ball. And, okay, just like so, okay? So continue to do that if you're just using yourself. If you have a bat, okay, obviously, if you're just using yourself, that isn't going to be quite as difficult. If you are using a bat, what you want to do, have that right hand nice and high if you're a right-handed hitter, left hand uh, if you're a uh, left-handed hitter, okay? And you are going to be in that same position. You're going to toss up. You're going to bring your hand to the back, and you're going to swing and try to hit. Okay, here we go. Nice. Good part here is the paper floats a little bit. Gives you time to react. All right, and water bottle. It's all about making contact, guys. Grab your items. And let's do it again. Here we go. Woo, right to you. Right to you. Try to keep a good stance, good form. All right, when we're learning this, we don't want to create bad habits. And we're here. Again, we're up. Taking a step with the front leg. Swinging through. Okay, here we go. You'll know when you hit it really just right because it will actually travel a decent ways. Good on that one. Not good. Keep that eye on the ball. Keep doing it with me here. Woo! I just knocked you out of the park. How you doing down there? The old water bottle came with some power. It sent you on a ride. All right, last round, guys. Doing great, here we go. Good job, guys. That is a, a more challenging one, but that one is a lot of fun, kind of keeps you engaged. And uh, hope your swing is coming along well, and keep up the good work. All right, guys, uh, I want you to practice uh, more batting for the next five minutes. You can do the T drill or the toss drill, or if you do have somebody around who would toss you, uh, a paper ball, or maybe if you go out in the backyard, toss you a real ball, okay? Um, that would be great as well, okay? So continue to work on that batting for the next five minutes. And uh, thanks for being here, guys. Have yourselves a great day.
Thanks for joining me today, guys. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time with some more softball, baseball, t-ball drills. Have a good one.